So this is a follow-up review of our Level 8 Voyager. This is the 28-inch rolling checked luggage, the large. You can see here it's a very, very, very wide, very deep bag. And uh, this is what I want to show you after two uh, trips, kind of the condition of the luggage and how it's faring so far. Now, let me take this phone off here and we will just let you look. You can, you can see the marring. Of course, again, this was checked luggage. So baggage handlers and airport carousels have already taken the toll. Now, it's more noticeable on this yellow. Uh, on the black, you know, if it's a black bag, you wouldn't notice it as much. Uh, the black here, you know, there, there is a little bit of marring. But uh, the, the plastic itself, or the shell, has not, uh, you know, punctured. There's been no breach. Uh, and it is, like I said in my original review, it's fairly... Uh, I'd say thin and it's very flexible. Now there is a, a pretty nice size little ding it got here, but it didn't puncture the bag, it didn't crack. It just kind of dented it in right here. Um, we had about 50, almost exactly 50 pounds worth of clothing. We had just about reached the limit of what the airline would allow. Wheels are still functioning fine. They're very, very uh, easy to roll, easiest rolling bag that we've ever had. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to see how well I can get this to clean up. So I'll take a photo of this uh, before and after of what it looks like now and what it looks like after I've cleaned it. I have this piece of luggage on our kitchen tile because I don't like putting the luggage on our carpet until we've had a chance to thoroughly clean it. I'm just going to start out with some kind of all-purpose cleaner. I'm going to spray it and I'm going to let that kind of sit on there for a minute. And you can already see some of the crud starting to run down the bag. I'll try to keep it from running off onto the floor if I can. Yeah, we're already starting to get some dirt and grime off of there. Now, the reason it's important for us to clean this is because what we do is we take this into our bedroom when we pack. We, we open up this clamshell and both of these sides end up on our carpet. So I want to make sure I don't get all this dirt and airport crap all over our uh, nice carpet in our bedroom. And this is just the first brush I came across. It's not probably the best brush for this. Uh-oh. I broke my brush. You can see already that it's getting a lot cleaner. A lot of that stuff is coming off. Some of it's not, but most of it is. If this, if having a dirty piece of luggage bothers you, I would recommend you buy black because you will never notice it if you buy black. Doesn't mean it won't get dirty, but you just won't be able to see it. Okay, it's much better. never come up with a really good easy way to clean these wheels so I just do it by hand and 
microfiber cloth seems to work about as good as any. And this is gonna be the dirtiest part of the whole bag because it goes on the ground, on streets, sidewalks. The other advantage to cleaning your bag every time you get home from a trip is that, especially when you're cleaning the wheels, it gives you a chance to see if there's any damage to the bag because you're, you're touching basically every part of the luggage. The wheels, in my opinion, are the most critical point of failure on a piece of luggage like this. And I don't know if these wheels are replaceable if one breaks. We have had wheels break on luggage before. It's usually the first thing, that or the zipper. Uh, zippers are very uh, critical and prone to damage and breaking and you know getting stuck and all kinds of problems with zippers. But wheels and zippers are the two points of failure on luggage that um, are most concerning. So I would say the this 28 inch has held up pretty well. It still looks good. It's in good condition. It suffered some marring and this one little ding up here where it kind of got dented. But other than that, uh, there's been no permanent damage. We do plan on using this uh, piece of luggage as well as the uh, comparable carry-on, which I carry on with me. I do love the fact that you can pack everything in there very neatly because of the way the handles are designed. You've got a lot of extra room for packing. And I will continue to recommend this, this luggage set. This is the Voyager 28 inch with the 20 inch carry-on. I am a level eight affiliate, but in spite of that, I wouldn't recommend it to you if I didn't think it was a, a good piece of luggage. So I would let you know if we had had any problems or damage, but we haven't. And it has held up so far well. And I will report back after our third international trip. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions, please put them in the comments section down below. Thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you next time.